this works here. Hi, everyone. Can everyone see uh, my title slide here? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so thank you so much. So thank you again for that wonderful introduction. And just for, uh, again, uh, my name is Devin Chu. I am a postdoctoral researcher at UCLA. Another way to basically say it is I just uh, recently got my PhD and I'm currently now at UCLA just doing more research. I'm also a very proud Hilo boy. I grew up in Hilo and I'll talk a little bit more about the path that I took to get to where I am today and just some little bits of advice and things that I can offer that I love to offer uh, fellow students from Hawaii. So just to talk a little bit about my background, I was really fortunate to just be able to live here in, in Hilo and I was able to become like really inspired by all the different science and different activities that happen. So here's just some examples of programs that we had right here in our own island called Future Flight Hawaii. And this was a type of example of just ways of opportunities that I was able to take advantage of just to be able to like learn and explore more about the science around me. So you can see here, I got to try on an astronaut suit and take pictures with Mars and try different things like that. It was just a great opportunity for me just to be really interested in science. And again, I just really want to emphasize that this was all available being a student in Hawaii. And it just was a matter of just taking the time and the opportunity to uh, take advantage of these programs and just very much kept me interested and taught me a lot of the basic building blocks of what goes into being a scientist. So moving on to Hilo Inter, uh, I was really, again, really fortunate to uh, continue my studies uh, in the public school system. And so in eighth grade, I, was, I had to do a science fair project. And what was really cool was that they would actually essentially ask the Department of Education or the DOE for some help with basically borrowing a telescope for a science fair project that I wanted to do. And just what was really awesome is just experiencing just the wonderful support that I received not only from the DOE, but just from members of our community in this particular case from Gemini Observatory that were just so, so welcoming and so encouraging just to have me uh, try these different science tools out. And I'm just like really grateful for that experience. So this figure, uh, sorry, this photo on the right here just shows me actually using the telescope that I got to use for my science prayer project. And again, just want to emphasize all of these opportunities were available to me just being a student at Hilo Intermediate School. And so it did take uh, some asking on my part, um, but it just shows that there are definitely opportunities that we can take advantage of being here. So all these different experiences has got me really interested in science. And so as I went on to Hilo High School, I kept up my interest in science as well as some activities. I also did things such as student association and key club for those of you that are currently in high school and are familiar with these organizations. Uh, uh, like you, I also continue to uh, participate in Journey Through the Universe and make more connections and learn more about the science happening that way. So this is again, all opportunities that I could do as a Hilo High student. And this kept me very much interested in uh, maintaining my interest in science. And so when I went off to college, I knew I really wanted to uh, continue my science and hopefully become an astronomer. So when I went off to Dartmouth College, here is a photo of Dartmouth College. As you can see, there's a lot of snow. It's located in Hanover, New Hampshire, very far away. But it was a great opportunity for me to try and continue to explore my um, ways of exploring science. And so I was able to do that by studying physics and astronomy. And then while I was at Dartmouth, I was able to just try out different research projects. I found some things that I found interesting, other things that were not quite as interesting to me or not something I was uh, something I wanted to necessarily continue. But it took, a, took some experiences of trying things out, um, realizing there are things that I like, things that I don't, that was just all part of the process. And uh, just another little tidbit here as well, like when I went up to Dartmouth, I became really involved with Asian American student groups. Uh, growing up in Hawaii, I thought it was a really awesome and unique environment to grow up in such a really great diverse community. When I went off to college, it was very different, not so much like that, but it really gave me the appreciation that we get living in Hawaii with just such a diverse community that I really appreciated. And I think it's something I really hold on to and something that I really value as I continue my work now. And so. It was just a really valuable experience. It made me really appreciate the community that we get to grow up in. And just really want to emphasize that my time here at, at college, it was really, it was difficult. It was hard. Um, I had to ask for help. I had to try things that didn't work out for me at first, but that's all part of the learning process. And that's okay. I just want to really stress that's life. It happens, um, but it's all about how you continue to move forward with that. So moving on now to my time here and career at UCLA. 
Uh, I think uh, if you remember, I was using a small little telescope that I got to use in the DOE Agni Kilo Winter. I still use telescopes in my work, albeit it's much, they're much larger now. So what's been really awesome is that I actually continue to use telescopes for my work today. I am currently an astronomer and astrophysicist at UCLA. So the work that I do uses the telescopes that we have here on Mauna Kea. And it's been an awesome opportunity for me to actually come home for work. So the photo on the left shows me in Waimea at the Keck Observatory's headquarters. And this is my, with my colleague and I, we're very excited for some of the images that are coming in through the telescope. We're super pumped. On the right here is just a photo of um, more of our research group actually at UCLA. So you can see here, uh, using the telescope is a little bit different than how it was in Kilo Inter. I'm not looking through an eyepiece anymore. It's all through the computer. That being said, it's still a really cool experience. Some of the images that we get are truly awesome. And one thing I really want to stress here is I really want to give a shout out to my PhD advisor. Her name is Dr. Andrea Guez. This year, she was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. So uh, on the photo on the left, she's on the far left here. And here is a photo on the right showing her receiving her award. Um, this is really much just the amazing work that she's done over the course of these few decades. A lot of that was all really conducted here in Hawaii, which is awesome. And as a note too, she is just the fourth woman ever to win this award, uh, which is inspiring, but also uh, disappointing that she's only the fourth. But I really want to stress that She's the fourth, but she's definitely not the last. And I really just want to stress that, you know, like um, really like we all have this potential to do really what we want to do and have this potential of greatness. And don't think of yourself as just not having that potential, just become from where you are. So I just want to continue to stress that um, always yeah, reach, reach for the stars and you just never know what can happen. It's really awesome. So it's just one thing I want to stress. But yeah, again, saying how like, just pointing out that while she was doing this work that got her the Nobel Prize is when I was a student at Hilo Winter in high school, just being a student doing my work here. So I just thought that was a really cool experience. So just to quickly talk a little bit about what I do and what my advisor and I do is we actually look at the very center of our galaxy and we see these stars moving around here. So on the top right, you see the numbers counting up. That's basically the year. And so over the course of 25 years, we've just been watching these stars move around and to basically point out this star here, SO2, it's been moving around, it's on its complete orbit using the laws of gravity. So depending, if you're, um, it depending on certain classes you've taken, you might've heard of gravity. Uh, using the laws of gravity, we can figure out there is a super massive black hole there at the center of our galaxy. So to put it in perspective, just how big this super massive black hole is, it's 4 million times heavier than the sun. Now, again, just to give you a more perspective of what that means, if you were to take myself here, and you multiply my mass or my weight by 4 million times, that would be about the weight of the Empire State Building. So some crazy stuff that we're dealing with here. So um, it's just really cool knowing that we discovered that there's a super massive black hole in our galaxy, um, all from the work that's been happening of Mauna Kea, which is really fascinating. So just to leave here, uh, I just wanna echo a few little bullet points that were brought up by our previous panelists. Again, take advantage of the opportunities that we have. Um, it's really awesome. Like I talked a little bit about what I've done and these are all available to me just being a student here in Hawaii, which is really awesome. And again, just really wanna encourage people to do that and take advantage. Uh, make connections and build relationships. Um, one of the things that comes with opportunities is just being able to meet with people and the different resources that we have. So it's really important to take advantage of that. Talk to people. We have a really small community that we're all invested in each other. I would say so really take that time to meet people and make those connections and really don't be afraid to ask for help that's that's one thing I experienced as well and there's no shame in that and just knowing that especially in a community that we have here that's really supportive asking for help is not a sign of weakness it's just a way that we all lift each other up and so I just really want to encourage you to do that as well so with all that I just want to say mahalo and thank you so much for the, this opportunity to just speak with you all Mahalo, Devin. Great advice um, and so pertinent to, to Hawaii 